Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first off, I am filming with the AC on again and I did film with the AC on for the first time in my last fan mail video and it was completely fine so I'm hoping it should be okay as well for this video. As you can see from the title, I finally have my Dollar Tree review for you guys and I'm really sorry that it took this long but of course, in case you're new to my channel, I put up these Dollar Tree review videos every time I do three Dollar Tree hauls and I just discussed most of the products that I featured in those hauls. It's a good way to kind of get a sense of what's worth buying at the Dollar Tree or what's worth trying if it worked out or not. So yeah, let's give this video a big thumbs up and let's get started with this review. In case you missed the first haul that I'll be talking about, I will link it right over here. First off are these gel packs. So my initial plan for these gel packs was to keep my daughter's bottles nice and cold. So I had it in a bag with her bottles and it actually kept it cold throughout the day which I was super happy about and yeah it worked out great. I definitely give those gel packs a thumbs up and I would most likely repurchase more of those if I ever needed them. Next item I featured were these stamp markers. So I have the markers here and I just have it in like a princess cup which I also got from the Dollar Tree so I really love how they come in like different colors I kind of turn it into like a learning activity too for my daughter I ask her to like bring me the blue one and it kind of helps her understand you know which color is which so yeah I love that it comes in different colors and of course the main thing about them is that they're not just your ordinary markers I picked up two packs, so one pack had stamps on them and they had a smiley face, a heart, a question mark, and other different ones, there were six, so there were six different um, stamps, which is pretty cool. And then the other pack had like different lines, I thought that was really cool and I just have like a quick footage of just how the stamp looks like and I was mainly stamping it on her art pad. But and she also has fun with it so I definitely recommend this if you guys have um, toddlers it's a really great and fun activity I would absolutely give this product a thumbs up and I would definitely repurchase these if these ever dry out but yeah I highly recommend these if you have kids next up I featured these super cute mini lamps like I mentioned in that haul video the main reason why I picked these up is because the case that they were in said that they glow in the dark. I was really interested to see if they would actually glow in the dark and they do which is pretty cool and yeah I love how they're just really small and really cute. I don't have footage unfortunately of um, like how they look like glowing in the dark. I actually did try to get footage for you guys though. I mean it did work but when I was filming it with the camera you couldn't really see anything because of course it was dark and yeah the screen was just pretty much black so I was like there's no point in putting this footage up but again they do work these are super cute and these are great for you know decorations and parties so yeah I would give this a thumbs up and I would definitely repurchase more of these if I ever needed them next item are these bubbles this product actually brought back some memories because I remember playing with something like this when I was a child. So I was praying and hoping that it better work because, you know, from Dollar Tree, you never know if it's going to work or not. But yeah, it did work. So basically all it is is that you blow it and then you can hold the bubble or if it touches the ground, it's not going to pop. It'll just stay there. So yeah, I have a quick footage of um, just me playing with Jaylene with the bubbles. So we do have a ton of fun every time we play with these types of bubbles, but it's something to keep in mind. Um, when it pops, it does leave like a slight residue, but it's not a big deal. Like if it gets on your hands, you can just rub your fingers together or you can get like a wet paper towel and just wipe it away. So I definitely give this product a thumbs up and I would probably purchase more of these bubbles. Next item is the lubricant pen. So of course I don't have the packaging anymore, but when I first saw this at the store, I read the back and it said that it stops squeaks like in doors. So yeah, I was immediately interested to see if it'll actually work and stop the squeak. It also had a list of other things that you can use this for, but I was mainly interested for um, like the squeakiness for the door. So that's what I mainly use this for. Most of our doors are squeaky anyways, but here's the door that I tested the pen with. Of course you can hear that it is very squeaky. 
So the instructions on the pen said, well first shake it and then point pen downward and lightly press tip against surface um, until the tip is saturated. So that's what I did and for some reason it like broke on me. So yeah, that kind of sucked but I pretty much just tipped um, the pen so the oil could come out and then I just wiped it with a paper towel. Um, I mean it still worked that way but yeah, it was kind of unfortunate that the tip had to break on me. Basically by the end of it, after lubricating all the three hinges on the door, as you can hear, um, it pretty much cancelled the squeaks out. So I mean it did work for what it said it would do. So I would give it a thumbs up. But to be honest, um, I've tried like uh, cancelling squeaks out with olive oil and it works just the same. It works great. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I mean, maybe it's good to have like on the go because again, like I said, you can use this for other things. But yeah, I give it a thumbs up, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this. Next I featured these soak off gel wraps. And unfortunately, I can't give you my honest opinion on those because I haven't used them yet. But I have heard a few, like two or three reviews on them that they said it works great. Maybe I'll include it in my next review video or maybe in a vlog because um, I painted my nails just yesterday and I have some like glitter on there. So this is definitely going to be hard to um, take off and I think in that haul video I did mention that I mainly want to use this to remove glitter polish. Hopefully um, I'll probably include it in a vlog most likely just to you know update you guys to see if it does work or not but yeah I mean like I said other people said it works great. And the last item from the first haul are these shadow sticks. Now I do apologize because I did pronounce it wrong instead of mariposa i said ariposa and actually when i looked back at like the video i was like wait that doesn't sound right and i've heard of um like mary mariposa before so yeah i apologize for pronouncing that wrong or reading it wrong but again i haven't used these shadow sticks yet but i need to do more eye makeup looks for you guys because it's been a few months since i've last did an eye makeup tutorial so my next makeup look will probably include those sticks. Alrighty, so let's move on to the second haul in case you missed it. I will link it right over here. First off, I featured these lovely fruit infuser tumblers. So let me tell you, if you haven't already picked up some of these fruit infuser tumblers, you definitely should because they're freaking awesome. I mean, aside from them not being BPA free, if you care about that, um, yeah, they're awesome. So I still, I just filmed like the process on how I did these just yesterday. So I still have them and they're so good. Let's get into some of the different recipes that I used. Of course, as you guys saw from the haul, I did only purchase these two tumblers, but I did want to share three recipes with you guys. And that's why I grabbed this mason jar, which I also got from the Dollar Tree. So the first recipe is a few slices of lemon and some mint as well. I already have my water in the cup and all you do is pop everything in the center and then just close everything up. Make sure you put the straw back in and then leave it in the fridge for overnight is better just so you can get all the flavors in. So I have it right here just to show you guys. I actually drank more of this with my dinner last night. So yeah, it's really good. Like you really get the taste of everything, like the lemon and the mint. So again, this is a very basic recipe, but it's really good and it's really refreshing too. All the recipes were actually really refreshing. For the second recipe, we have some strawberries, some blueberries, and some mint. So again, same thing, just pop everything in the middle. I already have my water in there and close everything up. And this is how it looks like. I'm not sure if this is my favorite one out of the three, but this is really good too. It's very sweet. So I don't think I taste much of the blueberry, but you really taste the strawberry. It's really, really good. And again, really refreshing too. The third and final recipe that I did included some oranges and blueberries. 
So I pretty much just popped everything in the mason jar and then poured some water and popped it in the fridge overnight. This one I didn't drink much of yet, but it is super, super good too. So good. I like this one too. And I was actually afraid that it might have a slight bitter taste because of course like the skin is still on there from the orange but there's no bitter taste at all. It's very sweet and again very refreshing. It's really good. So I hope you guys try those recipes out and those are not my recipes. I pretty much just got them off like Pinterest, online, and even on like Instagram. I follow the healthy fitness group. I, I, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, they always have like different recipes, detox recipes. There's honestly endless possibilities on what you can do and what you can mix together. So yeah, of course I would give these tumblers a big thumbs up and I would absolutely purchase more of these. Next item is this insulated bag. Now I did mention in that haul video that I wanted to use the bag for my daughter's bottles to keep it nice and cold and I did show you guys in one of my vlogs that it did work and it kept her bottles nice and cold throughout the whole entire day so that was a big plus. But after two uses I noticed that it started having this weird smell and I did also mention this in my last vlog I believe. It pretty much had like a really awful smell so I didn't want to put my daughter's bottles back in there so I just threw out the bag. I mean I'll probably give this product a thumbs up because it did work but I don't think I'll repurchase it again. Next item I featured were the new chalk markers. So I wanted to do a comparison with you guys and I think this um, chalk writer it's probably only available here in Canada and really quickly the first thing I noticed was that the tips are very different so this one is just very thin this is thick what i like about this one is that you can get like a precise writing like your writing is very clear of course because it's pointy but with this one um it's a bit more thick like the font or the letters appear more thick so i have some quick footage because i wanted to show you guys how it looks like and for some reason when i tried out the pink one again it didn't really work properly um, I don't know if it's because I think the instructions said you're supposed to let it dry before you close it. I'm not sure, but I pretty much, after using it for the first time, I just closed it and that's all I did. So I don't know if I did something wrong. The writing is actually supposed to look like this, the blue one to the left. I mean, it does work great and they both wipe off really easily just with a wet towel. I would still give these chalk markers a thumbs up and I probably would stick with this one that's available only in Canada. I don't know, I just prefer this over um, these ones, so yeah. And the last item for this haul are these red bins or containers. My initial plan for those bins it didn't work out because like I mentioned in the haul video, I wanted to use it to organize my kitchen cabinets. But because the bins were long and the handle was there, kind of sticking out, pretty much it didn't fit properly at all and it was too long to the point where I couldn't really close the cabinets fully. So that kind of sucked. But this will actually lead me to the last haul, which in case you missed it, I will link it right over here. So the very first item I featured in the last haul are these three orange bins. Here's a before and after footage of how I organized the kitchen cabinets. So as you can see, I used all three of the orange bins up the top and I just put all snacks in each one. I still tried my best to implement the red bins into the cupboards, but all I did was pretty much put all our tomato paste because we had so many um, cans and they're all small. So they all fit in one bread container and for the other red bin i just put like hot chocolate and tea and kind of some random things that were just laying around and the third bin if you guys watch my vlogs then you know our milk come in bags so yeah i just used that last bin to i just keep it in the fridge and i organize all Jalen's milk in there so i honestly feel kind of neutral with the way 
the cupboards turned out. I can definitely improve still. I just need to figure out like which bins are gonna fit properly and which bins will work well with the cupboards. So yeah, I will definitely update you guys and let you know if I change anything with that. But yeah, I still give all the bins a thumbs up and I would definitely repurchase some more from the Dollar Tree. Next item is this Hershey's chocolate pudding. So here it is. I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know how it tastes like. But some of you guys actually told me that it tastes really good. So my hubby and I are going to give it a try later on tonight. And I'll probably film like how we prepare it and our reaction. So I'll take you guys to that footage right now. Did you give me like a different part of it? No. Okay, see, I thought I thought you meant. I don't like it. Okay, let's try this again. I disagree, which is why he sent me a check for one hundred dollars. So it's weird. To me, there's like an aftertaste of like it's like a box, a cardboard box. Like you know when it's been in the packaging for a long time. Yeah, I don't like it, but he loves it. It's good. <laughs> so I only have two more items to review from the last haul, but if you guys made it this far, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. The next item are these makeup wipes. I only actually tried out the first two packs of wipes, but the third one I haven't tried it out yet. So in general, these wipes are pretty amazing. What I look for in wipes is that after wiping like my whole entire face, as long as it doesn't leave my face feeling super dry after wiping it, then it's definitely a plus for me. And I have used other wipes from the Dollar Tree before and it never really disappointed me. It works great. So yeah, I definitely give these wipes a thumbs up and I would absolutely repurchase more wipes from the Dollar Tree. And the last item for review are these blotting sheets. I did mention that I have oily combination skin, like super oily skin, and I mean these are just blotting sheets but it actually did work out really well for me and I try to blot my face of course whenever I find that it's really oily throughout the day and I try to do it at least two times so yeah I really love these blotting sheets and I definitely give them a thumbs up and I would repurchase more from the Dollar Tree. I mean, because they're a dollar, you honestly can't go wrong. Compared to, like I've tried the ones at Sephora and they're super pricey and they honestly just, they all work the same. And I've also tried one from the Clean and Clear brand. And yeah, I'll just stick with the ones from Dollar Tree that are a dollar. Well, in my case, a dollar twenty-five. But yeah, they really work great, so if you guys are looking for blotting sheets, I would highly suggest those ones from Dollar Tree. One last thing I want to quickly review, which I didn't purchase this myself, I got these from a swap I did with, if I remember correctly, I think it was from Nancy. So she sent me these tattoo pens, and I've seen a few people haul these, but I, um, I haven't seen it at my stores. So yeah, she sent me the pink and green one. It came, these two came in one pack. So I have a quick footage um, showing you guys what I did and they came with different stencils. So cherries, heart with wings, um, butterfly, stars, and uh, sun, the I love you, and the crown. So I'm gonna quickly show you the footage right now. This is really fun to kind of just play around with, have fun with. I use the pink one to fill in the I love you. Yeah, it turned out really pretty. And I also tried out the crown stencil. And I just filled it in with the green. And the top part, I just filled it in with the pink. So yeah, I mean, I'm trying to rub it off now and the glitter does wipe away, but
but I mean all in all it's still there and it doesn't smudge. This one it kind of smudged a little bit there. But yeah in general I actually don't mind these. Too bad I haven't seen these in any of my stores because I would definitely repurchase them and all the colors that they have. I'm pretty sure I think I've seen someone haul um, like other different colors. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, I love them. And they're not that bad. They're pretty cool. Something that you can just have fun with. And it's like a nice form of temporary body art too. So yeah, I would definitely give this a thumbs up. So pick some of these up if you guys see them at your Dollar Trees. So that's it for this review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it really helpful. If I don't mention some of the items that I featured in the hauls, it's usually because I already talked about them and reviewed them in previous reviews. So in case you missed um, the last review I talked about, I will have it on the screen. And also if I don't mention certain items, it's because it's common sense. Like, you know, for toys, for certain toys that I pick up for Jaylene, of course I don't need to review that. And other items too are just straightforward and common sense. So that's also the reason why I don't talk about some items that are in the hauls. Another thing I want to quickly mention is that for all the items that I talk about, I probably almost always say that I give it a thumbs up and I would repurchase it. But that's because whenever I go to Dollar Tree, I only pick up items that I actually need and I know I'll actually use. So yeah, like sometimes what if I were to throw things in the cart, before I check out, I actually look at the cart, I examine it and see if, you know, if I actually need this, if I don't need this. So yeah, um, that's probably like a quick shopping tip for you guys. Before you check out anywhere, I guess this applies anywhere, not just at Dollar Tree. If you're shopping anywhere and you have like a bunch of things you're holding on to, just kind of analyze if you actually need that item or not and you'll probably save like a few dollars or more so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this review video i really appreciate it as always don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already and stay tuned for my upcoming videos i finally got this review out of the way so my next three dollar tree hauls are going to be coming to you guys pretty soon again hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos and i will catch you guys in my next video if not i will catch you guys in my next vlog bye